Okay, so last week I did that video about the New York Times election game where you had to de uh, decide or guess whether Trump or Biden won the 2020 election in that precinct. Uh, I really enjoy the format of that map just because it combines the kind of like geographical knowledge that you'd need for GeoGuessr with the like political knowledge. And I am interest very interested in both of those topics. So um, I thought I should try the same thing for Canada. Unfortunately, there's not uh, like an organized game for that. However, I thought I'd just do it my own way. I got a bunch of sources up for the last election. This one's my favorite one. It is the electionatlas.ca, which I think is a really good map if you're interested in Canadian politics or elections mainly. Um, I really would recommend looking at this because you can actually do a poll by poll to get very specific. I'm not sure how they even have that data available because like when I voted, I never told them where I lived. I guess I showed my ID, but like, I don't know. Anyway. Um, so I'm just going to do it based on this and then I'm going to just verbally say which party I think won that riding. I'm going to do it at the riding level, not the poll by poll level or whatever. Um, and it is going to be based on the 2019 election, the most recent one. Um, I'm not going to worry about whether I guessed the correct area in, in GeoGuessr. I'm going to worry about whether I got the party right. And I'm going to play, depending on how long it takes, either two or three games, maybe four. So... Uh, I'm going to use the manual country street counter just to count how many I get the party, like the winning party correct. So let's see how this goes. If you're also like noticing that every time I'm checking, I'm going to be seeing the map. So it's kind of cheating because I can like remember it for the next round. Um, you may be right. However, <laughs> this is something I'm quite interested in. So I spend a lot of time looking at this type of map. So I am familiar with how a lot of these areas voted already so i'm not really going to worry too much about that i mean this isn't going to be perfect anyway it's just kind of a fun idea that i thought of recently so it's going to be no moving let's see how this goes this definitely looks like it's going to be somewhere that voted conservative it is in the prairies somewhere doesn't really matter which province because well it's saskatchewan so that's like that means i'm not even going to bother looking at the election atlas because all of saskatchewan like every single riding um the conservative was one in the last election so that's going to be a streak of one in case you don't believe me look at this um for alberta by the way the ndp won part of edmonton i believe that's where the university of alberta is but the rest of the province the conservatives won so let's move on there okay this is rural bc so i'm gonna go conservative again because i know all of bc most of rural bc are like Interior BC, I mean, voted conservative, except for this area like where Penticton and the Soyuz are, which I'm a bit concerned about because it looks like it could be in that area, so I'll be annoyed if it's there. But let's go conservative and let's go up here. Fuck. Okay. Well, I got screwed over there. I'm pretty sure the NDP won this area. Well, maybe not. Let's see. Oh, this is going to be tough because it's pretty close to. Okay, so let's go to Karameas and then down are we in that little okay good we're in this part here so I got it right let's just confirm we got Frank Lake there is still in the conservative riding yeah there we go so we're in what's this area called is it gonna central Okanagan milk mean Nikolai I was thinking it might be this one when I saw the results but we're still um, perfect so far after two. Oh, this is gonna be a bit tougher um is this bilingual because it's in new brunswick or is it bilingual because it's in ontario near the border hmm okay i don't know i'm gonna say liberal and i'm gonna go new brunswick so let's go up here come on shit oh it could be liberal because peterborough i think may be liberal but healy falls let's see how they voted Um, come on. Where is this? Okay, it's not showing the town name. Let's look for that island. Oh, it's here. So yeah, that's conservative and I said liberal. So um, two out of three so far. Let's move on here. Ooh, this is going to be a bit tougher. Oh, maybe not. I think this is in the prairies. I'm going to go conservative here. 
yeah, I'm not really sure exactly where this is, but I'm gonna say like, I don't know, maybe Winnipeg suburbs. Like, no, not not there. I don't know. Let's go like Brandon or something. Where's Brandon? What the hell? Oh, okay, yeah. Let's go here and say conservative. Oh shit. So Chatham Kent. Oh, I, I'm not actually sure about this one. Okay, they did vote conservative. Okay, so I got that right. So three out of uh, four so far. Let's see if I can see how I do here. Oh, shit. Can't see if it's French. I think it might be French, so I'm going to take a big risk here and go Bloc Quebecois and say it's up here. Oh, shit. So it was Quebec, Bromont. So it's south of Granby. Let's see how they voted. I said Bloc Quebecois, by the way. Where's Granby on this map? Where the hell is Granby? Okay, so it's northeast of Lake Champlain. For some reason, Granby's not showing up, but uh, I think this might be in that liberal area here. Cowansville. Oh, this is going to be tough because we're near the boundary here with the two ridings. So, Bromont. So, the boundary is the freeway, it looks like. Oh, so we're not really that close. So, unfortunately, it got it wrong. So, three out of five because I said Bloc Quebecois and it was liberal. And this one, okay, this one was Bloc Quebecois just on the other side of the freeway. But wait, let's look at that again. Were we on Route 139? This is a bit tougher than I thought just in terms of like confirming okay so three out of five so far let's see how I can uh, let's see how I do well uh, how I do going forward I think in the New York Times election game I got uh, 41 out of 50 I don't think I'm gonna play 50 rounds here but uh, anyway, I think this is Newfoundland or Nova Scotia but I'm gonna go liberal pretty confident with this one that it's gonna be liberal uh, yeah, let's make sure that that's not the one that the NDP won. Oh, shit. Come on. That is the one that the NDP won. Fuck. How could I get that wrong? It's like the one little part of the Maritimes that wasn't liberal other than, like, this part here. But all the other, like, coastal areas that I thought it could be would be liberal. But, uh... Unfortunately, I was in the NDP one, so uh, three out of six so far. Not so great. Let's see how it goes going forward. I'm going to go conservative here for sure. This is the interior of BC again, unless if it is that area that I was talking about earlier, that could be kind of like take you by surprise there, the like um, a Soyuz part. Okay, well, that thing screwed me over again. Uh, actually, it didn't screw me over last time. It almost did, but I think this one is actually in the Okanagan West Kootenai thing. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, so it's Rock Creek there. So three out of seven so far, that was NDP, and I said conservative. So not going so great so far. I still like this format. I just wish that there is like a way of a better way of confirming it, but I, I don't know how to do any of that stuff, like to make my own game. And it's not really worth the time in doing it because I'd probably get bored of this relatively quickly. Um, I'm going to go liberal here. I'm going to say this is a maritime somewhere. Like Moncton, maybe? I don't know. Oh, shit. Okay, this is probably going to be Bloc Quebecois, then. It's just a bit north of Drummondville. Didn't even get the province right. So, Drummondville is. Well, I said liberal, right? So, I don't think I'm going to be right. Regardless, it's either going to be conservative or. Um, or Bloc Quebecois, because yeah, I said I said liberal, and it's near. Okay, there's a Bloc Quebecois area. For some reason, this map doesn't show up. Like some of these towns don't show up, because I think this is Drummondville there. Uh, so yeah, Drummond, um, Bloc Quebecois one there. So only three so far. This is a lot harder than I thought, but I guess. Oh, I've gotten this round before, but I don't. Even though I just looked at the map, like a second ago, I don't know where this is. Um, I mean, I don't know which party this is. It's Northern Ontario. I think the Conservatives did win that part where um, Kenora is, though. So I'm going to go Conservative here. Um, I'm not going to bother trying to get it perfect because it's somewhere up here, but that's not the point of this video. Shit, that's a bit too far east. I don't think that's the right riding that I was thinking of. This is probably going to be Liberal. 
So east of Thunder Bay, what the fuck, why is that thing in the way? Okay. Okay, yeah, so that was liberal by quite a lot. Oh, that's Patty Hadju. I think she's uh, something. I don't know. She's like a high up person in the government, like in the cabinet, I think. Anyway, um, so this is going really bad so far. Three out of nine, I think. Let's see if I can improve this a bit here. Arete. Ooh. Let's go block Quebec on this one. But I'm not sure where this is. Maybe like here? Come on. Ah, oh, fuck. I think this is like the English-speaking part of uh, Montreal, so it's probably going to be liberal. Oh, maybe not. No. Yeah, so it was liberal, and I said Bloc Québécois. So three out of ten so far. This is really not going well at all. I think I'm going to play four rounds. Um... I thought I'd do a lot better on this. I still like the idea though of this. It's just that, uh, yeah, it's just pretty hard, uh, harder than I thought. Maybe because of the the number of parties, and just because I guess for Canada it's not as much like in the U.S. It's like if it's rural, let's go Republican, and if it's urban, let's go Democrat. But in Canada, it's not necessarily as like clean cut as that, um, especially with the the Maritimes. Um, I think that says it's a snowmobile crossing or something. I'm going to go liberal here because I think this might be the Maritimes again. Perhaps even Newfoundland. So let's hope it's not up on this peninsula. What the fuck? Okay, I said liberal. And I think this might be a liberal riding North Bay, Ontario. Yeah, that's liberal. Okay. Just confirm. Yeah, definitely. So... 4 out of 11 so far, so at least I finally got one right. Um, okay, where's this going to be? Nova Scotia. So, let's just go liberal on this one, just because I think there's only one riding in Nova Scotia that's conservative. But, yeah, okay, it's going to be liberal there. Let's just confirm. Yeah, it's somewhere in here, so that's another correct one. This one's definitely going to be um, uh, wait a minute. Oh, this is uh, Rolo, Rolo, however it's pronounced in Saskatchewan. This is where that show Corner Gas was filmed. Uh, I've been here because I like that show. Uh, anyway, uh, so this is definitely conservative because all of Saskatchewan is conservative. Uh, let's see if I can pinpoint this just because I know where it is. It's up here. There we go. So that's the correct one. As I showed you before, all of Saskatchewan is uh, is uh, conservative, has a conservative MP. Anyway, this one's going to be a bit tougher. I think it might be the Maritimes, though. So I'm going to say, con I mean, I'm going to say liberal. Let's go up here. Come on. Oh, this is going to be risky. So we're somewhere near Plaster Rock, Mount Carlton Provincial Park. Oh, what's going on here? Where's that? Where are those lakes? Ah, shit, this is going to be Route 385. Yeah, it's here. So it's going to be conservative, and I said liberal, so ah, not a very good round there. Okay, what do we have here? We got an Alberta flag, and it's not, this is definitely not Edmonton, so 100% going to go conservative here. Um, Eckville, I don't know where that is, but it is, um, Alberta somewhere. Not going to bother looking for that, but, okay, yeah, so that's correct. I'm not going to bother, um, uh, looking to confirm it just because you already saw the, uh, the Alberta part of the election map, and it was just that part of Edmonton, uh, that voted Lib uh, NDP. So that is 15 games so far. I think I'm at... I don't remember what I was at now, 7 or 8. Maybe let's move on here. Saskatchewan again, so conservative. And I'm not going to bother looking around much more or confirming on the map. So that's 8 now. Loon Lake. I know at uh, some point, some elections, the northern part of Saskatchewan votes NDP, but not in the last election. This is going to be another tough one. I'm going to say liberal, and I'm going to say 
Newfoundland. Yeah, there we go. Not going to bother searching that again because as you saw, all of Newfoundland was liberal except this peninsula here and Saint, some of St. John's. So we're up to nine out of, uh, is it 12 now? No. No, this is my third game. Oh yeah, it can't be nine out of 12. It's nine out of like 17. Oh shit. Okay, I'm going to go liberal here because I think this might be Yukon or Northwest Territories. But uh, let's see. This goes... Hopefully it's not BC. Okay, good, it was Yukon. So I said liberal, and Yukon, were they liberal or NDP? Yeah, they're liberal. Actually, if it was on the BC side here, it would be NDP. I forgot about this area here, because I was only thinking about this part of BC. Anyway, um, so nine out of 13 now, I think. So let's do, see how this goes. Oh, shit. So it's rural farmland which i would say conservative however this could be quebec in which case i think it might be bloc quebecois um i'm going to just say conservative though i'm going to take a big risk and go go conservative somewhere around here maybe oh shit yeah it's definitely not conservative being up there i don't think sorel north of sorel oh Maybe I might get lucky here and it might be... No. Where's Sorel? Isn't it near, like... Oh, it's on the other side of trois Rivière. Okay, so it was... Uh, it's somewhere over here, but it's Bois, so um, I got that one wrong, unfortunately. Okay, this is BC again. Let's hope it doesn't do that annoying thing where it's going to be in the... Uh, um, this area that voted NDP, but I'm pretty sure it should be safe to just go uh, conservative here and say somewhere around here. Come on. Yeah, that's going to be conservative. That's uh, north of... Where were we exactly? Where's um, Barrier? Oh, we're near Barrier. So um, let's go to for uh, evidence since I didn't really look at this area that much earlier, but Kamloops is there and then we're up here somewhere so it's conservative so that's 10 out of 10 out of uh, 20 so far so um, let's see how long I've been recording 17 minutes let's do one more let's do up to 25 so it's easy to multiply by four and do my uh, my percentage um, I guess it's easy to do 10 out of 22 but um, okay so I'm gonna go oh shit I, I was gonna go conservative thinking as the prairies but based on this cathedral I think it's Quebec um, in which case I'm going to go Bloc Québécois. I feel like it's if it's not urban and it's in Quebec, it's probably safe to go Bloc Québécois for the most part, but it might not always be the case. What the fuck? Okay, well, I think I was too, like, I don't know. I got too excited seeing a mosque, thinking, oh, there's a mosque, it must be in... Or not a mosque, why did I say mosque? Cathedral. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Uh, a th cathedral thinking, oh, it's probably in Quebec. But yeah, there are um, Catholics all over the place, obviously. And there's like French settlements in especially Manitoba. So I didn't think of that. Um, no point in looking because obviously the Bloc Québécois aren't going to win anything outside of Quebec. <sighs> Damn it. Okay. Where's this? What the fuck? Okay, this is French. I'm going to say Bloc Québécois here can't see that sign I'm gonna go up here somewhere yeah there we go I think I might have gotten this right I said block back one it's near Bay Como yeah that's somewhere up here right so Saguenay actually voted conservative I didn't know that but I got that right finally I got a Quebec one right um, okay here we go this should be quite easy Iskut Dees Lake Alaska Highway oh shit maybe not so it's in BC, but Iskut is... Okay, I'm not going to use the map to cheat here because, um, like, the New York Times map didn't have that. And I kind of want to make it relatively equal to that, even though I am zooming in here. So I'm going to say NDP here because this is northern BC, but I think it's far west enough that it's probably... Um, and it is in BC, but it's far west enough that I think it's going to be in that... Um, Skeena Bulkley Valley riding or whatever it's called. So I'm gonna go up here. Come on. Yeah, so I think that is gonna be correct. So I said NDP and it's down. 
yeah, this thing goes way down there, so it's definitely going to be NDP, so that's correct. So 12 out of 20-something, 20 23, not so good. Goobies, I don't know what the hell that is, but it sounds like Newfoundland, and it looks pretty uh, like rural, so let's go there. And yeah, there we go. So let's, I forgot where the Newfoundland NDP one was, it was just there, right? Yeah, so Goobies was yeah over there, so that's going to be correct. I said, did I even say a, um, a party there? I think I didn't say a party, but obviously I meant liberal because I guessed in Newfoundland, but not in this part of Newfoundland. So I'm just going to confirm that as a correct guess, even if I didn't verbally say it, but I was definitely thinking it. Um, anyway, I don't know about this one. I'm going to go conservative here. I'm going to say southern Ontario, but not in an urban area. Yeah, there we go. Oh shit, this could be... Because of Sarnia, it might be NDP or something, but I'm gonna go... Oh no, Sarnia actually voted Conservative, apparently. 49%. Um, so, actually I'm surprised then that Sarnia's riding is that Conservative when like Windsor is like... Look here, 19% Conservative. Uh, anyway, so I got that right though. So 14 out of 25, that is, uh, oh shit, I gotta do some math here, that's 56%, uh, right, I think, I'm getting that right, I don't know, anyway, uh, not that great of a result here, considering I got like 82% in the American one, but as I said, it is easier when you only have two options to, um, to go with, and there is that urban, uh, urban versus rural kind of divide here. Uh, which in Canada kind of works in general for BC, except for this area here, and then this area here, which screwed me over once. Um, and then, but for the prairies, that kind of works out, except that Calgary and Edmonton are mainly conservative, and so are Regina and Saskatoon. For southern Ontario, that rural, like urban versus rural thing definitely works. Uh, but then for Quebec, it's all kind of weird, because look, you got these Quebec City areas that are conservative, and then you got... Um, these liberal rural areas and then the the Maritimes are also kind of weird too um, especially Nova Scotia that it's just all liberal and PEI is all liberal um, but yeah thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this uh, I really enjoyed this but uh, it is kind of a, a weird uh, weird format to think of but I had to go with what I was uh, like like the lack of available games to do uh, this type of format in uh, this is kind of the best way that I could think of um, to play this because um, I don't have the ability to make a game myself like the uh, the New York Times election game, obviously. Anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. Hope you enjoyed this, even if it is kind of a niche topic. A niche, like politics in general is kind of a niche topic, but then Canadian politics is even more niche um, and elections themselves. And then the, like the geography of elections and like the geography aspect of trying to guess which area you're in is an extremely niche topic. But hopefully some people enjoy it though. Thanks for watching. Bye.